In this episode, I travel from Lisbon to Velada. Welcome back guys, finally off. So this is where I've been staying. Chalet de Evia. I have to say the people that work there. Uh, probably the friendliest, nicest people ever. <laughs> been really good. I've been here five days, so definitely ready to roll now. Heading to the cathedral. And then I'm gonna push on north from there. So um, yeah, quite excited to be leaving again. And, I think the bike's okay. Maybe the front tire needs a little bit of air at some point, but I packed a lot better this time. I got organized. You can't really see, but my bag's um, just way better organized. Anyway, I'm off. Welcome back guys, so this is the Cathedral, Lisbon, this is where most um, pilgrimages to Santiago begins and I'm not 100% sure I'm going all the way to Santiago on my bike but um, there's a good chance I might so I thought I would do the uh, honours and touch this, the Cathedral just to say I started here um, there's the sign of Santiago the blue signs are the ones to Fatima which is a very famous pilgrim walk in Portugal sorry Fatima is actually a city a town um, a little bit like Santiago so many Portuguese will go there walk there so um, very peaceful here Lisbon's very quiet as you will have seen from the video of me in the square I did think about getting the pilgrim passport here so I could stay at the cheaper places but everything looks really closed and I can actually pick one up on the way. So there you go. I'm off again. <laughs> what an impressive ship. Wow. Tony Mast. Okay guys, just leaving now, the main central area of Lisbon to try and negotiate my way out of these roads somehow. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back. So I'm just pedalling my way out of Lisbon on a very nice cycle lane. Quite an industrial stretch, not particularly nice to look at, but um, it's flat, it's a nice breeze, not too bad breeze, and uh, can't complain really. Hey, welcome back, guys. So, standing here next to the mighty Tagus, Tekach River. Yeah, I haven't travelled too far today. Just been taking it really easy through um, Lisbon, just enjoying it really. Forgot how nice this riverside area was. So the Camino uh, goes this way. When I actually, I've actually done some of these sections before, hiked a bit around Lisbon, and uh, originally you couldn't walk along here because. When I was here, the Eurovision Song Contest kind of took over the whole area, so there's lots of restrictions, but it's all a lot more open now, so... Anyway, must push on. I'm not going to get anywhere standing around videoing.
Welcome back guys, so this is uh, one of the longest bridges in Europe Okay, it's a long way over there it Joins the southern peninsula And I'm heading that way I think my destination is way along the river there uh, Somewhere over there Welcome back folks, so this is a, a very nice bit of the Camino, um, yeah basically it goes through like a nature reserve, you can see like way back there Lisbon, where I've come from it looks quite a long way but really on a bike it's not that far, <laughs> I'm probably heading to a place called Villa Franca today, um, Actually, a uh, campsite there. I stayed in my camper van there for a week, uh, a few years ago. So, somewhere I'm familiar with. I'm assuming it's open. Might not be. Uh, I'm going to camp around here, but obviously not allowed. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to take on this bit now. It's um, very hot today, uh, but there's a nice breeze. <laughs> I'm not out of breath because of cycling, although obviously I was cycling, but I was just going along this really quiet lane, like down there, like no, no cars or traffic. Suddenly there's a big dog like running right <laughs> beside me, <laughs> um, barking and obviously I really speeded up, but I'm, I'm surprised how fast a dog can run. I mean how fast it ran it was like um keeping up with me and then uh i really put in a bit of a burst and it kind of tailed off and then it it turned around but oh wow that got the adrenaline pumping not that i something i really need after a long day but you know this is all part of the journey i guess <laughs> and um i've come out on skates so i shall continue <laughs> Morning folks, this is where I camped last night in like a forest <laughs> eventually found one it was uh, dark when I got here just about but I still managed to put the tent up in the kind of semi light of the, the moonlight so yeah, a very peaceful night um, yeah, so um, the river Tega is kind of through there, so can't quite make it out, but it's just through there. So there was a camp ground there, but it's obviously closed at some point, which is why I'm here. <laughs> okay, guys, gonna finish packing up and uh, hit the road.